Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Twitch in 2024. So today, we're stepping up to the security of your Twitch account by enabling the two-factor authentication. With 2FA, you will add an extra layer of defense to your account, safeguarding your valuable, the valuable of course, valuable streaming platform personal information. So join me as I guide you through the steps of enabling the 2FA on your Twitch. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section in here and type twitch.tv and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Twitch right away. So if you have an account, go to the top right corner, click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have it set to click on sign up. So here, make sure to do whatever option like you have. So if you need to log into your account, if you have one, just log in. If you don't, click on sign up to sign up into a new account. So for me, I'll just go here, click on login, and I'll try to log in into my account. So let's start by the username. It should be like this. And I think I have this and this then then the password so like this and click on login see so this username does not exist it exists maybe it's just like that the username just does not exist again wait am i missing something should be like that that password was incorrect so let me just go and figure out to let me just go and log into my account and i'll come back to you so yeah i get the like the right password now i'll have to go and get my code from my email provider i'll basically use my phone for that so i'll just go and access gmail into my phone and check if i get the code so yeah here's it i get the code so i'll just go and log in with that this and it should log me right into my account now we'll have to see how should we log in into our account if we want to log in into our account basically just go to the top right corner at your profile icon go and click on that once you do so go and scroll down and click on settings this should take you into the settings of your twitch account now what you'll basically have to do is simply access the security and privacy option go and click on that and once you do so you'll find yourself right here so contact security and as you can see two-factor uh, authentication which is the 2FA what uh, that we talk about so we'll have to enable it into our twitch if you want to add it we'll basically have to click on set up the two-factor authentication it will add an extra layer of security to your twitch account by using your password and a code on your mobile phone to log in so basically here i'll just go and click on uh, set up that and as you can see from here so factor authentication uh, is an extra layer of security to your switch account in addition of using your username and password to log in will enter security code generated by an authenticator app or send you an extra as a text or send you of course as a text message so once enabled you'll be logged out of all other devices except for this one for security so if you want to enable it just go and click on enable to enable it right away and here, as an example, you'll have to enter your phone number. If it's already entered, just click on continue. And here, of course, you'll have to enter the code that they sent you to your number right away. So as an example, I'm just waiting for the code at the moment until I receive it into my uh, like uh, PC or sorry, my phone. Then I'll enter that code right there. And I'm just going to click on continue and I'm coming back to into you. So basically, once you click on continue in here, you will find yourself enabled this two-factor authentication. For me, I, I get the code, but I'm not going to enter it down there. Why? Because as you can see, if I'm trying to do so, they will log me out of all the devices. And I actually don't want that because I'm logged in and a lot of devices on this switch account. And I don't want to keep logging in over and over in each one of them. So, of course, once you enable it, you'll be able to uh, disable it if you want to always come back here to your settings security and privacy go here 
and you'll be able to disable this as an example as any of those so you'll be able to click in here uh, or uh, this you'll find the trash button like this on on it and you'll be able to click on it to disable it if you don't want it anymore and and yeah that's gonna be basically it of course this will of course make your account more secure and you'll be able to log in into your account switch accounts with your username and password normally but they will always ask you for the code that is provided on the google uh, or of course your phone number always so whenever you're trying to log in into a new account a new device for example a new phone a new tablet a new browser as an example they will ask you for the username as an example like this so basically it will be basically something like this so let's just go to twitch tv and if i click on login so i'll have to enter the username and password and i'll have to enter the code that they sent to my uh phone number of course i already have it like added the 2fa but on my email as i said before when i try to log in they uh, they send me code to my email so now i once you enable the 2fa it will add the phone number instead of the email of course you can choose even to switch to an email for example if you lost access to your phone number or something like that so i guess that's gonna be basically it's of course uh you successfully like enable the two-factor authentication on your twitch account in 2024 with 2fa or with two-factor authentication activated your account is now better protected against unauthorized access ensuring you a safer streaming experience so remember to keep your authentication method secure and consider enabling the two-factor authentication for other online accounts for added security so happy streaming and stay safe online and of course if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover that in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible if you have any other problems and you don't want to wait for something like that you can always contact the support of twitch and they will come back to you as soon as possible and if you like this video also make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i will appreciate it a lot so thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.